if we have one part out of ten, we have one tenth, and that's written as a decimal 0 0.1, because the first digit after the decimal point is the tenth digit. So on these place value counters, I've written one tenth, but I could have written 0 0.1, because 0 0.1 is the same as one tenth. Now, if we have one part out of a hundred, we have one hundredth. We get a hundredth when we divide a whole by a hundred, or a tenth by ten. So you can see that the rectangle is now split into a hundred pieces, and we have one of those pieces, so we have one hundredth. We can also get a hundredth when we divide a tenth by ten. So if we go back to the previous slide, we can see Amount shaded was one tenth, and now if we go to the next slide, we can see that when we had a tenth, we had all of these pieces shaded as well. But now we've only got one of the ten pieces that we had shaded, so dividing a tenth by ten gives us one hundredth. And we can write one hundredth as a decimal, that's 0 0.01. So remember, the first digit after the decimal point is the tenth digit, but then the second digit after the decimal point is the hundredth digit. That tells us how many hundredths we have. And again, though the place value counters write one hundredth as a fraction, we could have written 0 0.01 on these place value counters, because that's the same as one hundredth. Now, if we have one part out of a thousand, we have one thousandth. And we've still got this rectangle split into hundredths, but you can imagine each of these little rectangles split into ten pieces. That would mean that the rectangle was split into a thousand pieces. Now we can't show this, because if I split each of these rectangles into ten pieces, you wouldn't really be able to see anything. and. You probably can't even see this tiny little blue sliver that we've got here to show one part out of a thousand. So we get a thousandth when we divide a whole by a thousand, or a hundredth by ten. So each of these little rectangles are still showing one hundredth, and if we have just a tenth of that, we have a thousandth. So the thousandths digit is the third digit after the decimal point. Remember, we have our ones before the decimal point, then after the decimal point, we have tenths, hundredths, and then thousandths. And we can show a place value counter for our thousandths, and though it's written as a fraction, again, we could have written 0.001 on this place value counter. So, you might be able to see this tiny little bit of the rectangle shaded, and that's one thousandth, because if we had a thousand of these tiny little blue rectangles, we would have our whole rectangle shaded. So, we know that our whole number place value columns are our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. And we also know that when we have ten of something, we can go to the next place value column along, so ten ones make one ten, Ten tens make one hundred, ten hundreds make one thousand, and so on. And we also know, going the other way, that if we divide a hundred by ten, we get a ten, if we divide ten by ten, we get one, and it carries on into our decimal place values. So if we divide one by ten, we get one tenth, if we divide one tenth by ten, we get a hundredth, and if we divide one hundredth by ten, we get a thousandth. And it also works going the other way. So if we have ten thousandths, we have one hundredth. If we have ten hundredths, so ten of these green counters, we have one tenth. And if we have ten tenths, we have one one, or one whole. So look at this number. We have 294.35. Which digit is in the tens place? Well, when we have decimals, we need to count place values from the decimal point. So the digit before the decimal point 
is the ones digit and then the digit before that is the tenths. So in this number we have nine tens. Now which digit is in the tenths place? So it's important not to get confused between tens which is a whole number place value and tenths with a th which is a decimal place value. Now the tenths digit is the first digit after the decimal point. So for this number, if we look at our decimal point, the first digit after it is a three, so that's three tenths. Now, what is the value of the digit five? So we can find the digit five, and we can see that that's the second digit after the decimal point. Now the second place value column after the decimal point is the hundredths place value column. So that five must stand for five hundredths. So we can write that as 0 0.05. So the five is the second digit after the decimal point. Or we could express the value as a fraction. So as five hundredths. Now look at this number. We have 813.465 which digit is in the hundredths place? Well the hundredths digit is always the second digit after the decimal point, so we have a six in our hundredths. Now which digit is in the hundredths place? Remember when we have decimals we count place values from the decimal point, so we have ones, then tens, then hundredths, so we have an eight in our hundredths place. Now what is the value of the digit 5? So the digit 5 is the third digit after the decimal point and the third place value after the decimal point is the thousandths place value. So this 5 stands for five thousandths and we can write five thousandths as 0 0.005 so that the 5 is the third digit after the decimal point and it has to be the third digit because if it was the second digit it would be in the hundredths and if it was the first digit after the decimal point it would be in the tenths. So we show five thousandths as 0 0.005 and that's the same if we express the value as a fraction as five over a thousand. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.